Whew, all right, let's get it. It's February 27th, February 28th in Japan. Let's see what Alice has up their sleeves for this February announcement. I'm so excited. Let's check it out. A few moments later. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? King Narukami here. Today we're going to be talking about the latest Persona 25th anniversary announcement that just happened the other night and <laughs> where we go forward from this. So, of course, you all know the February announcement for the Persona 25th anniversary happened and what did we get? Japan got a announcement of a festival for the Persona 25th anniversary. The festival is going to happen in Japan only and it's going to have merchandise, everything. It sounds like a great time. So happy for the people in Japan. They're going to get this great event. And the Western audience got nothing. Uh, there is no pretty much Western announcement. If you look at the Persona 25th official website from Atlas West, Nothing really happened. We still got Ultimax, we still got that Shop Atlas collection, and we still have the digital wallpapers from the first announcement. So, what I want to talk about today is not the announcement itself and how disappointed I am. That's gone over a lot of times and people might see this as crying. If so, this is not me crying. This is just me trying to make sense of everything and <laughs> you can say, oh, I'm on that copium. Yes, I am right now. So. Let's talk about what exactly happened. So we, I, not we, I got my hopes up for the Midnight Channel bundle coming to consoles. P4G going to be bundled with P4AU. Easy money. That did not happen. We got this festival announcement in addition to a non-anniversary announcement that P4AU is going to have rollback this coming summer. Not at launch, during, during the summer though. And, you know, better late than never. That's great for the people that will play online, that'll help the game survive. I don't know what 100% rollback netcode is, but I'm happy for the people that care. Fantastic. Now, you're gonna say, why are you so disappointed, King? Because, you know, Japan's their main audience, Atlas's main audience. And you would be absolutely right. This is might be me bitching, but whatever, but I could tell you this, I'm just not, excited about Persona 25th anniversary anymore, man. It's just, we've been spoon-fed this information. They waited till the last day of the month to, you know, make that February announcement, only for it to just be, you know, nothing for the West. Yes, Japan's the main audience, but I think Atlas needs to realize that we have, they have people outside of Japan that love their products. Atlas West has never been bigger than it is right now. Persona franchise has taken off it's in the main headlines of gaming news articles and everything. Clickbait everywhere about Persona. So, I think they need to include us a little more. This is this is me coping, maybe, but I, I don't know. It's just such a big letdown for me. And it's kind of, I wouldn't say a slap in the face, but at the same, it's just disappointing. Now, our next announcement is going to be in April. I'm definitely going to keep my expectations in check for that one. If it, is it a port? Probably not. It's a, probably another, you know, merchandise drop or something. At this point, yeah, I'm betting it's something Japan exclusive related. But when Atlas started this anniversary project, they said that they want to include everybody in it. Which is why Atlas West made their own uh, made their own website about it. We go here, look at the latest Persona 25th information for the West. Fantastic. The only thing is that <laughs> there's not much to talk about. I mean, nothing. Nothing here except for P4AU, which I'm happy to revisit. I'm looking forward to interacting with the characters again. That's about it. I mean, we got overpriced merchandise over here that you're paying out of the ass to ship to other countries. You know, Atlas West covers more than just, you know, the US. I mean, it covers... <laughs> It's, it's the Western audience. And if you live outside the country, even in Canada, your shipping rates are insane on this website. Now, it's not bad for me, but it's still kind of overpriced and the store's not that great itself. The digital wallpapers, that speaks for itself. I mean, I, I can go get a wallpaper. I can make my own from anywhere, whatever. T 
to me, they need to include more of the Western audience, or this is going to fall by the wayside. Now, they did add an extra announcement. I don't know if it's because of the ongoing conflict right now in the world that's happening. I'm not going to go over that. I'm sure you're tired of hearing that information. But Atlas did add one more event to this calendar. It was seven at first. Now there's eight. Now, I understand not all of these announcements were going to be games. I 1,000% understand that. But they need to just be more exciting than just a festival, some wallpapers for us, and a port of a fighting game, which is fantastic. Fantastic. P4AU was great when I played it. It just, there needs to be more happening, and I feel like Atlas is kind of dragging their feet with this. I would much rather them do this all in one or two announcements than have to wait month in, month out for the next announcement and just be completely disappointed in it but that's just my two cents let me know what you guys think obviously i think atlas should take this seriously or actually more seriously i know atlas japan is taking this seriously but as for the western audience we're just kind of you know waiting for something else to happen at this point hopefully april will be the time where we're included again in this now even just the anime streaming again would be great on services but you gotta look into rights fees and everything i don't know if that would be profitable for them at all if that would be a good asset for them to have but let me know what you guys think are you tired of the 25th anniversary do you think i'm just coping right now i could this could be just bitching and everything but let me know what you guys think in the comment section also thank you we're at one 1300 subscribers thank you all so much for everything and all the support i hope i haven't driven you away by now but I'm just saying, let's keep our expectations in check for this next one. I'm still kind of excited for this 25th anniversary. I just need to be fed sometime soon. And thankfully, we only have a month to wait now. If you haven't already, like, subscribe to the video. And if you just think this is me coping and don't like me, hate my guts for it, leave a dislike. That's fine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Kink out.